Welcome to globallytraining.com. Globallytraining.com offers online courses covering various software technologies. New courses are added on a regular basis. You can email us at training at globallytraining.com or you can call us at 732-588-6564. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the video series on wavy scripting. In this video, we will look at uh, you know for loops. Uh, this is, by the way, this is uh, part two of the loops in VB scripting. Uh, in the last video, we looked at uh, do loops, do while, and do until. And this video will cover the for loops. Uh, by the way, for loops are very simple, really, really simple. And the reason for that is, you know, it's very clear. It says from here till there do something that's what it does so here on the top portion of the script I have comments and declared a variable and I declared option explicit and a constant variable so I kind of ignore all that well let's concentrate here so I'm saying that for a equal to 1 to 10 I have a variable a I'm saying that for, I must say you no know, from 1 to 10 it keeps assigning the value to a so for 1 through 10 I have you know let me let me remove this step for a minute so for 1 through 10 display this message and you're done so let me run the script so you see the number 1 here 2 I'm clicking through fast 9 10 and so done so 1 through 10 it displayed this message and exited the loop now the interesting thing to note here is it by default incremented the value because it, you know it did 1 2 3 all the way through 10 but it didn't do something like 1 1.1 1.2 1.5 it did not go into floating points so by default the fur behavior is that it will step it are incremented by one and you know whether you declare step one or you know don't declare it it's the same thing so you can look at it you now let me you know just to save some time one through five let me run the script one here two three four five it's done now let us play with this if it's it doesn't have to be one you can you know increment it by two so and let me change this to let's say eight so it will start with one then step by two so one plus two is three so one three five seven those are the numbers you would see so here so here you go here we display the value of one sorry value of a which is one now it's three because it we said step two so the first loop was one the next loop it's three because it has to increment by two now five seven it's done because after seven it's nine but nine is outside the range because the loop is supposed to run only from uh, eight to one to eight but uh, after eight then it's gone because it has to exit the loop that's how the for loop works so let's take a look at another script uh, we'll we'll look at a negative stepping meaning it doesn't have to always add a value to a variable you can actually decrease it as well so in order to do that I have declared uh, three variables a B and my loop a is set to 10 and B is set to 5 and uh, here using uh, a negative number one I said for my loop equal to a to b a is 10 to b a to b is not increasing order it's, it's in the other way around it's in the uh, descending order so the number is decreasing it's not 5 to 10 but it's 10 to 5 so by default we know that after 10 
it will go up by one but that's a default behavior so it should go up to 11 but we are declaring the step and saying minus one meaning it will start with 10 and the next round it will go down by one then it'll be nine then it'll go down by one it'll be eight so you will see the value going down here saying that loop one value of my loop is it'll start with 10 it'll go down by one so let me run the script so loop one the value of my loop is 10 so it went down, went down by one because the step is a negative number minus one eight seven six five now once the five is done the next loop it needs to go down by one more number that means it needs to be four but the loop condition is to only run from 10 to 5 so once it's outside that range it's outside this loop now it goes into loop 2 which is it's finished this loop it went to this loop and this loop instead of incrementing or you know stepping by minus 1 the loop 2 is doing by minus 2 10 to uh, sorry a to b again you know, 10 to 5 it's uh, decrementing by 2 so it started with 10 it went down by 2 which is 8 which is 6 now the next is 4 but 4 is outside the range that means it will exit the loop it's done so that's how you use uh, you know a step function within the loop to control the behavior of the for loop now again all these in numbers value of a value of b and how much value you want to increment it all depends on your script and how you you know the kind of thing that you're working with and it all depends those uh, uh, the environment to uh, decide what goes in here but once you have the basic understanding, you know, you will definitely take this for loop concept and fit into your actual, uh, you know, need. Let's look at, uh, look at uh, one more script uh, before we uh, close this uh, video on loops. Um, so I kind of, you know, started off with a very bare bones for loop with, you know, basic variable A. And I did the same thing here with just, you know, declared two variables and use my loop and stepped it by minus one and minus two. But here I'm kind of, you know, kind of taking it up one notch and kind of using little variables, using array, using if condition, kind of mixing the concepts that we have learned so far and, uh, you know, running or, you know, writing a for script. I mean to say, you know, for loop. So top here comments and option explicit this is a constant that i've declared and then we have a dim uh, total array nums and i and a total of zero that i'm declaring here and so here array we have looked at uh, you know arrays in another another video uh, we looked at it and this is one of the ways to declare an array so i'm declaring an array with the name arr nums and the elements are one through five here so what I'm doing here is that I am actually, you know, the total is zero. The value of total is zero here. When it comes here, it says total equal to zero plus something. And what is this something? We'll discuss now. So going back to line 26 here, it says, let me space this out nicely so it's easy to look at uh, the script. So for I equal to it says upper bound array nums and two l lower bound nums so we know that uh, you know this is a function on uh, arrays so when you say upper bound array you know it gives you the um, highest index value of the array and what is index value here is it five or four well uh, if you said five then you're wrong but if you said it if you said the index was four then you're correct because the index starts with zero so this is zero index position this is one two three four so that's the uh, index so the highest value the upper bound is four so it says that i is equal to four two the lower bound is zero not one zero that's index value so from four to one sorry four to zero not one four to zero it's saying that you know step with minus one and do the script so the initial value for i would be four because that's index four for the upper bound command 
so it would be i is uh, total is equal to total is zero to begin with zero plus and here what it would be more like this and it loops the first time uh, let me put a comment there when it loops the first time uh, it will be uh, after equal to let me move this a little bit so it's easy to understand it will be 0 plus will be the value is 4 but uh, as far as arrays goes when you say array and give the index number what you get is the value from that position and this is nothing but 5 so in this first round the total becomes what 0 plus 4 is 5 and then it does something on the next round what happens let me take this copy it here on the second round so now the total was 4 from the initial round initial loop but this time it is what 3 index 3 is 0 1 2 3 so it's 4 so this here this gets replaced by what 4 so 4 5 plus 4 it's 9 so what we are doing here is we are starting at the rightmost position of the array element and adding them 5 we are starting with 0 0 plus 5 5 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 2 14 14 plus 1 15 that is a, that's exactly what we are doing looping through the array but from the end you could reverse upper bone lower bone and say plus 1 here it does the same thing it will start adding from 1 but we are reversing it and adding the elements from the right hand sorry uh, yeah the right hand side then what we are doing is if whenever the total is greater than 10 we are displaying a message saying that hey hooray the total is greater than 10 and it will only display this message when it is greater than 10 if it is equal to or less than 10 it will not display the message let's go ahead and run this uh, script real quick and take a look at it so it says hooray the total is uh, greater than 10 it is 12 so um, it looped through this and uh, what really happened was uh, once the total was uh, you know it did 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 3 is 12 that's when it was greater than 10 and it displayed the message and it said you know it's greater than 10 the value is 12 so it was here now the next should be 12 plus 4 12 plus 2 which is 14 so the total is greater than 10 and it is 14 the next round you have 1 to the 14 you get 15 it says totally greater than uh, you know 10 and it is 15 so now sum of all numbers that's coming from line 38 that's 15 let me do this, uh, something real quick here okay now let's run this script one more time okay so it, it start off it's looping through the total and it says oops it is less than a 10 one more time the third time it was greater than 10 so now it's 12 that's coming from line 40 let me make uh, one more quick change here it's less than 10 let me take all this and just append it to this line uh, here it says that um, you know it's going to display the same message but also it will also display the total so you can actually see it it says oops less than 10 it's 5 because it's you know, starting with 0 0 plus 4 the last element 5 is 5 0 plus 5 is 5 um, now 5 plus 4 is 9 it's still less than 10 it is 9 and now it's greater than 10 now this condition is met and you're getting the message from line 33 for 14 as well one more 15 and that's coming from line 40 well uh, that's it about for loops and uh, I will see you in the next video and we'll discuss uh, functions